Hi guys, it's uh, another Blu-ray update. This is uh, the first part of two videos. I want to dedicate this video basically to the Indiana Jones steelbooks uh, that I've recently acquired. Um, the reason being I'm a big Indiana Jones fan and, and that's the reason I want to separate the two. Now, I already owned Indiana Jones on various uh, formats, even include, including VHS and DVD, and uh, I had also purchased the Indiana Jones The Complete Adventures on this fantastic box set here. Then the steelbooks were announced, and uh, I was very excited by this. I was like, wow, I've got to get those. Uh, but things changed, and um, I started to you know, change my budget and decided not to keep buying every steelbook that comes out, especially as Zavi loves to release so many. Um, and so I decided, you know, I'm not going to get steelbooks of uh, movies I already own. And this was a very, very hard and difficult decision to make. Uh, one for the Star Wars uh, movies, uh, but especially for these Indiana Jones ones because they looked absolutely fantastic. And um, I said, you know, I'm going to stick to my guns and I'm going to pass them. And uh, someone, a good friend of mine on Facebook, um, recently messaged me and he said that he, he you know, he knew um, how much of a fan I was of uh, Steelbooks and Indiana Jones, and he. he wanted to send me them and I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for the fact that he did that because finally seeing them in person they're absolutely amazing and um, it's they're definitely um, worth having even if you own the blu-ray box set because they are so lovely to look at nice glossy finish um, the embossing on the title uh, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, it says here. Um, but I love this poster art and uh, just the finish on it, it looks absolutely fantastic. There's the uh, spine. And uh, artwork on the back. You have to watch those fingerprints. And some great inside artwork as well. Now the audios in here um, include everything that have been in previous releases, but I'll list them off again. English Dolby Digital 5.1 Surround, DTS HD Master Audio, French Dolby Digital 5.1 Surround, German Dolby Di Digital 5.1 Surround, German Dolby Digital 2.0 Surround, uh, subtitles are in English, English SDH, um, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Norwegian, Swedish, and uh, that's it. Here is uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Once again, lovely glossy finish, nice choice of artwork. Indiana Jones is embossed. You've got the border going round just like the other one. The great rope bridge scene. Nice inside artwork again with them on the minecart. Also, um, languages on this, English Dolby Digital 5.1 Surrounds, DTS HD Master Audio, French Dolby Digital 5.1 Surround, German Dolby Digital 5.1 Surround, and some titles are in English, English SDH, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Norwegian, Swedish. And last but not least, we have uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Uh, fantastic artwork again, nice close-up pictures here of... Uh, Harrison Ford and Sean Connery and uh, we've got the border and the embossed title picture on the back I'll show you all the spines together the, the uh, actual colour of this spine is slightly different to the other two uh, but it's more in, in tune with the uh, colouring of the, the steelbook itself We've got uh, Indian and Henry Senior tied up there in the inside art. Languages on this are English Dolby Digital 5.1 Surround, DTS HD Master Audio, French Dolby Digital 5.1 Surround, German Dolby Digital 5.1 Surround, subtitles are English, English SDH, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Norwegian, Swedish. Here are how all the spines look together. 
from right to left we've got Raiders, Temple and then uh, The Last Crusade. Overall how I feel about these films, they're all fantastic, all it's got a slightly different tone to them. I would say that Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade are probably closer in tone to the second movie. Second movie definitely has more of a younger, aimed at a younger audience feel to it, even though it can be quite gruesome in places. Uh, but the the inclusion of um, Short Round just uh, gives the tone of it like a slightly more younger, aimed at a younger audience feel, even though older audiences can enjoy it as well. Um, but overall, on their own merit, they're all fantastic films. But for me, obviously, Raiders of the Lost Stark is is one of the best classic blockbuster adventure movies ever made. It normally, if I normally do in a list and I mention my top movie of all time, you can normally see Raiders of the Lost Ark probably at number one every time I do a list like that. It's just a film that I, I've loved since I can remember going to the, the, you know, the cinema. Uh, fantastic film. Once again, uh, thank you so much uh, to my friend on Facebook for sending me these. Um, you don't know how much it means to me to get something like this. It, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Thank you guys for watching my first part, and I'll catch you later.